So let's go back yes. a week ago. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's go back to when the Wednesday night before the nominations are announced. And it's my understanding that Price Waterhouse comes here. You guys all realize a very small group of people know who is getting nominated. How did you feel? It's a, it's a very dramatic process. The internet is turned off, your cell phones are turned in, PricewaterhouseCoopers comes with the nominations that night, so you can prepare for the announcements the next morning. We get the nominations, we read them, and we think, wow, okay, here's the hand we were dealt this year, and it wasn't as inclusive as we hoped for the second year. You know, the sequel is always bigger, than, <laughs> almost always <laughs> can be bigger than, the, than the, the original, and we knew we were going to have to speak to this issue. It's always a surprise. You don't really know how the breakdown is actually going to happen in each category until you read it. Did you know it would be this big of a story? I'm not sure this mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's like the success of a motion picture. You know you've got a hit on your hands, right. but you don't know that it's actually going to be $500 million. Right. Do you know? So at some point, the matrix is further than you could possibly imagine. But it's a conversation that everyone's having anyway, I think. It's happening in corporate America. It's mm -hmm. happening in mm -hmm. you know, our police departments. It's happening with our politicians. It's a conversation around the world right mm -hmm. now. And films are such an important part of our culture and such a, you know, the connective tissue of our culture. It, it's, again, it's the good and the bad of being the most prominent film institution and, and arts institution, I think, of all of those conversations now can come together around the Academy Award nominations. Some Academy members have come out and said they are insulted by the insinuation they're racist and can't pick right. movies in a colorblind fashion. What, what do you say to that? I can understand um, a person is being accused of something that they are not, right. okay? I th certainly understand the hurt because people they don't even know are making a judgment about them and about their artistic integrity and their artistic taste. So I can understand why our members are insulted by this. I think that is absolutely unfair because we don't know how they voted. We have no idea, like I said, until any of us see the results. It is misguided, I think, to actually accuse people of something that they're not. You want to make sure the membership is as reflective yes. of yes. our contemporary film community. culture and yeah. film community Absolutely. as possible. That's so what's important. That's the most important mm -hmm. thing. So that we're not, mm -hmm. you know, talking about what people chose. We're just talking about who those people are within our membership.